From 1963, we have come a long way as an island. Uh, so did WEP, provider of drinking water and electricity, and more recently in the processing of sewage water. With ups and downs, but surely growing. As an illustration of this growth last year, considering the following. The growth in the demand of drinking water last year was more than 8%. Just at the beginning of this year, we were talking about growth in double digits, percentages. The challenges for our island and company were numerous. To cope with enormous growth in demand, I just mentioned. New legislation, local politics, accountability to Dutch ministries, social challenges in our community, many stakeholders with many times differing expectations, tariffs as the talk of the town. As the demand of the island has been increasing over the last six years, the need for more production capacity became evident. Exploring all options to increase the production capacity, WEP came to the conclusion, based on a positive business case, that installing WEP's own water production facility to meet the increasing demand was economically more favorable. WEP decided to install a 1,600 cubic meter per day reverse osmosis plant in 2015, which has operated at full satisfaction up to now. It's because of the various factors influencing the water supply on the island, amongst which the increasing water demand due to the growing population, WEP decided to make a master plan for drinking water 2017-2030. An important aspect to consider at that moment was the expiring of the BOW contract with a third party in July um, 2019, last July. WEP has already determined in a strategic plan in 2013 that the water production should be insourced again. This starting point was sustained during the drafting of the master plan 2017-2030 by a positive business case. WEP will build and operate its own water production facilities at Hato, at this site. The process of designing and engineering of a new state-of-the-art WEP-owned water production facility at Hato. This process was finalized in the end of 2018 and the tendering process was started early 2019 to acquire contractors to build the water plants. This afternoon, we are here to celebrate an important milestone in this process. The signing of the contract to design and construct the water production facility at the Hato site by IDE Technologies by order of WEP. The beauty of a world-class cooperation is the result of many discussions, a lot of patience, disagreements, but always with a genuine commitment for pursuing solutions. This is how WEP wants to be characterized, a company you can count on, responsible and professional, cooperative and constructive. Symbolically, WEP and IDE together will, after the signing contract, put the shovel in the ground to emphasize this important moment. On this happy occasion, I would also like to highlight our commitment with the Isle of Bonaire to take care of a sustainable, affordable, and reliable drinking water supply and in that way contribute to Bonaire as a blue destination. We are convinced that together with our contractor IDE Technologies and all others involved in this process, we will bring this important part of the whole water supply chain to a successful conclusion. Finally, I would like to thank everybody which in one way or another has contributed in making this process a success up to this point. I'm convinced that the island of Bonaire can count on your positive contribution in the future to make this project a complete success. Congratulations to everyone, and like our slogan says, let's do it together. Thank you.